Hello, my name is Xavier Escovedo. This is for Professor Sheridan, Introduction to Business Communication. For this assignment, it's going to be talking about should college athletes be paid? The side that I went with was no, they should not be paid. When I think of a college student, I think of someone who just graduated high school and has continued their education at the next level. So when I think of a college athlete, I think, I think of the exact same thing. An athlete that just wanted to play at the next level, perform, compete, and even train to better their skill or their sport. Why college athletes should not get paid. Being an athlete is a privilege. Any athlete knows that. So even being a student athlete is an even bigger responsibility. In this article, College Athletes Should Not Get Paid, 2018, it says, colleges prepare athletes to go pro in way high schools cannot. And if high schools don't pay their athletes, why should college athletes get paid? Like I said, college athlete, being a college athlete is a, is a privilege. It's a huge privilege. Not anybody can do it. So for a college athlete to feel right, to feel that they have the right to get paid while they're in college as they're bettering their skill, mastering what they, what they do. I don't think it's okay. You go to college to better yourself, your skill, your mentality, and the list goes on. Whether it's that's on the field or off the school or off the field in school. Why college athletes should I get paid? You can argue that colleges make money off you while you're on campus. Obviously, for those four years, you're playing for that school. But what that athlete or the, the naked eye doesn't understand is you play at a certain school, especially if it's a high division school. Professional organizations in any sport, they see what school you play at or what college or what coach you were coached by. They take that into consideration. And then that's when it becomes where it's that professional team wants to pick you up because of where you went to school or what coach you had. So it's almost like building a resume. You're building a name for yourself. And if they, and if that professional organization sees that you had a big following in college, they're going to say, why not sign this kid? He's going to bring that same following to our team, into their new environment, to their new culture. So obviously you're benefiting from playing at these schools already since you're creating more recognition for playing at that set school or even being coached by one of the best coaches in the nation. These organizations are gonna to wanna to hire you. Like I said, it's it's a given. They see that you have a great following, they see you're a great player. They're gonna to wanna to make money off your name. Ruining college sports. By paying your athletes, it's, it's gonna create a bidding war between high division schools and lower division schools. Those higher division schools with the, with the most amount of income are obviously gonna be able to buy some of the best players they can ever get while we leave these lower division schools in the dust because they can't afford a simple player because of the higher school having more income. Those higher division schools are gonna build an elite squad. If they have the money, they can do what they want. Sadly, those schools that don't have enough funds, they're just gonna get kicked out of the program. Sooner or later, these college athletes are going to start picking up to that. What they could probably do is sign to a higher school or a lower school, get a certain amount of money, and then a year later, transfer out to another school for even more money. It's going to be a continuous loop within a player for four years, only adding on to more than one player for this happening, putting some schools into debt that they cannot afford. So personal thoughts, me personally being a college athlete, I never thought about getting paid, Never, not once. I've always understood that being in college alone is a privilege and being a college athlete is an even bigger privilege. Not anybody can go to college and everybody can play a sport in college. It's not easy, it's not a free thing to do. So I, I can understand why some athletes want to get paid since it is hard. But in my own opinion, I'm there playing sports in college to better myself, 
my skill and my craft to master it, to be ready for the pros. Because if I were to jump into a pro match now, I would not be ready. And that's just because those pros have years under their belt. They're developed and they've just been doing that game, their, their sport for years. Something that obviously I've been playing for years, but at a different level than them. They're at a higher level than college, than high school, than middle school. It's not fair. So it'll take a lot of time for me to, to match up with those said professional athletes in any sport. Any athlete knows that it's not an easy thing to do. It's really hard, but it all takes time and effort into putting into your own skill. So that's why I feel college athletes should not get paid personally. I want to thank you for taking your time to listen to my my arguments about why college athletes should not get paid. Once again, my name is Xavier Escobedo. This is for Professor Sheridan. You have a great day and bye.